Now fear is one of the major emotions that can drive you towards freedom, liberation and towards your purpose. Or it can make you feel frozen like a woolly mammoth in the ice. So it really comes down to what you buy into. So if you've got core beliefs that are holding you back and keeping you stuck, fear will drive that. So if you're looking at mainstream media and everything that's happening at the moment, people are getting um, told to be frightened, to do everything that they're supposed to do because fear is actually keeping people frozen and stuck. So what I've learned and was what I teach people in the academy is allowing fear to be the liberator to move your direction in the way that you want to. Now, the way to do that is to do things that you've never done before. Staying in the safe zone is never ever going to get you towards liberation. So you have to do what is going to stretch you and fear is the thing that's going to make you do that. So what we do is to create safety, we stay in our homes. And what I mean by that, it's not about staying in homes because of COVID. It's staying in our homes by not stretching ourselves beyond what we're capable of. The only way that we can get liberation, relief, connectedness, and a sense of true freedom is to stretch yourself way beyond your comfort zone. And that's where fear sits. So fear has two, does two things. It can send an amazing sense of dopamine when you overcome your fears. And that is one of the addiction bases that you can do to run fear liberation. So what I do every single week, I'm always doing something new, something different every single week. And I've been doing that since 2010. And I'm addicted to fear in a really, really healthy way. Because what it does is it helps me grow. I'm one of the calmest people, apparently, that people know. And the way that I use fear is the only way that you're going to get to where you want to go. It liberates you, gets you really connected, and allows you to be the person that you've always wanted to be if you use it properly. So I'd love you guys to comment below. Tell me what you think about this and whether you would like some help around it. See ya.